Hey guys, uh, just out here in the shop. It's uh, January the 3rd, and I'm just making up a couple of coyote boards. So, this one here I just did up, and I just used uh, one of my old patterns off of my other boards. That uh, stretcher there is actually for Bobcat, but I ran out of stretcher boards. I only have the three. I don't usually get a ton of coyotes at uh, at one time that I can't, you know, keep up. So, but uh, this year um, I've been getting a little more at one time. So I figured I should probably make up a couple more just so I can try and stay ahead. Um, so anyway, yeah. So I just I actually popped off this coyote here off this board and. Uh, what I did was I just took that board, laid it on that, and I uh, traced it up. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take and I'm going to lay that one on this plank here. And uh, it's six feet long and uh, trace it out on here and then make another one. So you can see on front and back I've got the uh, the marks the uh, 1x 2x and 3x all of our coyotes here stretch usually around the 3x but definitely over the 2x very rarely very rarely do I ever get one that's uh, that's in this range here in the 1x 1x area so I didn't go any smaller than that but uh, anyway so I just got those marked and it's marked front and back and that's just so that when I'm stretching the coyote onto the board um, when I'm pulling the hide down they're measured uh, from the nose to the base of the tail not the tip of the tail but the base of the tail so when I'm stretching the coyote onto the board um, by having that line there I know you know if it's only say half an inch away from getting me a, a 3XL coyote um, I can usually get that half inch pulled down a little bit you know if it's an inch or so and I can't get it then uh, I'll usually what I'll do is I'll just make it nice and in that 2XL range um, instead of uh, pulling it extra tight and maybe degrading uh, the quality of the fur but anyway so yeah that's what I'm doing I actually have um, a coyote hide that I uh, I skinned yesterday I got it off the carcass yesterday and tonight I got to get that on to uh, this new board I got to flesh it still but uh, anyway I'll get that onto that board and uh, away we go. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you guys uh, just a little view there of, of how I make my boards. Um, this stuff here is out of uh, what the store would call number one pine. Um, now I know some of you guys are thinking pine, you know, shouldn't you have to worry about uh, pitching that. But it's number one stuff and... Uh, None of the knots are sticky. There's there's no stickiness to these boards, and uh, in all honesty, I'm just not worried about it. Um, never seems like uh, the hair sticks to these boards or anything like that. So um, I don't worry about it. Uh, each board costs me just over ten dollars. Um, and then I mean I gotta make them but that's all right um, what else yeah so I just got the measurements there off of uh, the fur harvesters website um, I don't know so you go down two inches and it should be three inches wide go down six inches should be five 12 inches, 6 and 3 quarter. So then what I did is I just made some marks go down 2 inches 
uh, what was it, six, and then 12, and you just make your width measurements, and just kind of doing a nice curved line up. And then uh, I took the belt sander actually, and just rounded the edges, and it, uh, it turned out fairly nice. There's no sharp edges on it and uh, no dings or anything like that so the hides aren't going to get you know cut um and then i went over it with actually a finer coarse um sandpaper just by hand a 180 grit just to kind of give it a, a that much smoother of an edge and uh anyway it turned out uh, turned out real nice so, like I said, I'm going to get uh, this one traced onto that board uh, before I do this next coyote. Because um, obviously the coyote's going to be on that board, so I want to get it transferred over first. And then I'll get that uh, coyote done up, and then I'll work on the next board. So, Alright, so, um, yeah, you guys haven't seen the video of that coyote yet but uh, that should be coming up soon I guess I'm kind of over the order here putting this one up but that's all right oh and then I just made a few uh, a few belly boards here and these are just out of scrap pine they're uh, one and a half inches on the fat end and then they just taper down to more or less nothing um, no guidelines or anything like that uh, these ones here are around four feet long um, yeah I just cut those out with the skill saw and again they're just belly boards so that uh, you can actually get the coyote hides off of the boards once they're done drying but uh, anyway, um, been getting lots of comments and lots of views lately, so that's always good. Kind of gets you a little more motivated to, to do the videos. So um, yeah, I'll get this one posted, and then uh, like I said, I got uh, some footage of that coyote, and um, I got some more footage coming too. So I'm gonna kind of make that into one video out on the line. And then uh, I've been getting lots of um, people asking me if I can do videos on uh, how I make my sets and, and stuff like that. So um, I am going to try and get that done. Uh, get some, just some footage of what I use for cable and wire and how I rig it all up and all that good stuff so anyway guys we'll uh see you out on the line